I think the one thing that personally I've always aspired towards is the attribute that Tony had arguably above all others than excluding perhaps Carl Cox, which, uh, and that thing that I aspired to be is to be a DJ that somebody could recognise when they didn't even know that DJ was playing. You could walk into a club, not even look at the decks, and if it was Tony DeVee playing, you knew it was him. And that is so difficult to achieve, it, both then and now, when a lot of DJs are frightened to do anything different from and break away from the norm. And I, I really couldn't give any DJ a, a, a higher accolade than that. Well, Tony, I think, is associated with arguably being the sort of the, the forefather, the godfather of Hard House, but actually, um, that, that's viewing the past probably with um, quite inaccurately because he was, um, he was all about playing a selection of quite banging, quite hard tunes, but actually that there was some trance in there, there was some sort of techno in there, and there was what we would now call kind of hard house or hard dance. And I think that was what makes a good DJ and made Tony particularly good because he wasn't scared off um, by the fear of kind of escaping his genre constraints.